Okay, this is the American Beauty, uh, a very cool deco style machine from the 1950s, specifically 1957. And out of any of the machines I've worked on recently, I've really been the most impressed with this from a standpoint of what it can do from a heavy duty standpoint, as you'll see in the various stitch offs, and also the amazing spans of decorative stitching that it can do. It comes with a total of nine cams and those nine cams can generate 76 decorative stitches and also along with that you get a straight stitch a zigzag and then also for utility purposes a blind hem stitch so when all is said and done you've got a total of 79 stitches that this machine can generate it also comes with a one amp motor so it's able to sew any of those heavy duty projects that you that you have whether it's quilting or heavy grade materials, this machine can do it. Let's start at the bottom of this machine and you'll see that it's also a very easy, easy to use machine. Down here you've got the feed dog control and by simply rotating it to the left you can disengage those feed dogs. Rotating it back you can resume sewing with those feed dogs fully engaged. You've got your spool pin right here for bobbin winding and if you follow me up the side of the machine you can see that engaging the bobbin wheel is very easy simply pushing it in to lock it and then pushing the lever up to disengage it again. Over here to the left you've got stitch length and the stitch length on this machine is very easy to control by either moving up or down and all the way up is obviously going to be reverse. Also the variety you get is anything from six stitches per inch all the way down to 30 stitches per inch. And also another nice feature so that you don't accidentally bump this lever when you're sewing or moving around the machine, it's got that little uh, lock-in dial so that you can lock that stitch length in place so you don't accidentally bump it and uh, affect your project outcome. Up to the top of the machine you'll see near the emblem, we only have one spool pin, but don't let that fool you. This American Beauty is very capable of doing dual needle sewing. You'll simply have to use your auxiliary thread feeder, uh, whether you're using a tree or some other device to feed that second thread, so you're able to do dual needle sewing with this machine. Drop straight down to the stitch width. The stitch width is very easy to adjust again, left or right, depending on what your project outcome is. And again, you've got that wonderful little lock dial so that you don't bump it accidentally. And, and alter your stitch width from where you want to be with your project outcomes. Below it is your needle position, left, medium for the middle, and then right needle position as well. Over here to the left, this is where we get into the cam functions of this machine and they're very, very easy to use. This top lever, which is labeled lever Z, is going to allow you to choose that specific cam at any given time, you're able to have a total of four cams in the back of that machine. They're simply stacked on like this and then just inserted in the back of the machine. That's going to allow you to choose which cam you want to work with. And then the lever below it, which is labeled lever uh, N, is going to allow you to select that specific stitch on that specific cam. Let me show you what I mean. This is one of the guides of some of the decorative stitches that you can choose. Right now we have it set up with cams A, B, G, and H, which are four of the nine cams included. And then by simply sliding this lever left or right, this little cover here, you're able to see right away that to, sl to sew this particular pattern, you're going to want to set lever Z, which is right here, on one, lever N, on four, lever W on zero, and lastly lever P, which is again your needle position, on L for left. It's that easy. If you follow me over the top of the machine from this region here for control, you can see that the threading of this machine is very easy. Simply comes down through the tension uh, knob up through the arm and down to the presser foot. And you can see this presser foot already has quite a bit of clearance. But by applying the hyperextension on this machine, 
you can gain quite a bit of extra clearance if you're sewing several layers of material or if you have quite a bit of quilting you're trying to get underneath that presser foot. So again a wonderful feature on this machine. Also uh, you'll want to check out our other videos and before we go on to that next segment let me show you just a sample of some of the stitching that we've already done with this machine. These are uh, obviously anything from a straight to a zigzag and then a small small sample of some of those 76 decorative stitches that this machine can generate. The stitch quality is gorgeous, stitch formation is just beautiful with this machine and you'll have a lot of fun experimenting with some of those other 70 plus uh, decorative stitches that this American Beauty can generate. Also we did, just to show you uh, a project outcome on this, you can see we did a really cool uh, applique. We used a variety of stitches on this, probably about three or four. We used a, a diamond style, a scallop, a straight stitch. Uh, just to show you from a project outcome uh, a simple sample of what this machine was able to do. Make sure you check out our other videos as well so you can see the amazing versatility and heavy duty capabilities of this American Beauty.